Now, they're no longer rolling with the stones. Bill Wyman, the silent but deadly one, has opened another branch of sticky fingers. Here's rock and roll burger bar. Jenny went off to speak to him and got some sound advice, as well as some free nosh. Are you OK? Is there anything I can get you? Uh, yeah, I fancy uh, Bill Wyman, actually. OK, I'll get that for you later. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, guess what? Look, do you come with mayonnaise? Uh, not very often. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, you have to tell. Oh, I don't know who to welcome. Am I supposed to welcome you to Manchester, or are you supposed to welcome me? Yeah, to you your... welcome me. I don't come up here very often. No, uh, do you like it? Yeah, yeah, I've been up here on and off yeah. over the years. So what brings you up here this time, as if we didn't know? God. Oh, well, I've got a bunch of friends and people coming by tonight, so I thought I'd better attend. All sorts of celebrities that turn up down down in London. Even, yeah, uh, yeah. Little People. Harry and uh, Princess Di. Yes, they come quite a lot. Yeah. yeah, and they get left alone at the back there. They sit at the back and nobody bothers them. We don't phone the press up immediately like most restaurants do. So to your Rolling Stone days. Um, I have to say, people like Take That have split up and all the rest of it, and Oasis probably are due for a split up eventually. What, what happens to a rock and roll star, a pop star, once they've had their, their days? What, what do you do? Well, the good ones don't split up for a start, do right. they? Um, because you only split up. I think, I think they split up now because they're in it two, three years, four years or something. They make a lot, a lot of money. And they split up, and they split up very rich. In the old days, if you were in a band three or four years, you didn't really have any money, so you didn't split up. It's quite funny, really, how you know, like the Beatles and Take That, and then and then along come they're very safe, very take home to mother, in a way, aren't they? And uh, or were they? That I think they were. And Take That yeah. really were. But um, and then all of a sudden, this really rebel rebellious sort of band comes along, and that's that's what you were. And it's the same sort of thing for Oasis, isn't it? Well, yeah, every, every other band that's come on since then has tried to be a bit rebellious. I mean, you had all the punk thing, didn't you, in the 70s? Tried to be over-rebellious and forgot about the music, really. Yeah, that's the thing. Do you think... They had great images and all that, but they forgot how to play, or they didn't know how to play, or they didn't play very well. And if, you, if you're going to have longevity, you could do all that, all the sex, drugs and rock and roll, which I'm sure you all did in one way no, or another. No, we didn't, actually, no. but... But, but, but it, all right, with Oasis, the, you know, they, they certainly have. Well, um, younger bands seem to think that they that's part of it. That's what's going to say. It, it isn't really part of it, you know. The, the thing is, you can do that, do you think, but you've got to keep focus. You've got to still churn out the songs. Of course, you you've got to come up with good quality songs and, and good recordings. And, you, and the most important thing is you've got to go out there and do a great show to a, a big audience, you know. And you talk about England, you go to America, you've got to break every state individually, every town, one by one. You can't just be popular like you are in England and you're popular in the whole country overnight because you did Top of the Pops or something. When you go to America, different story. you've got to break Cleveland. And that, they've never heard of you in Los Angeles. Then you've got to go to Los Angeles and break in Los Angeles, but they don't know about you in Boston. You've got to go to Boston and break. And, and all those places, you've got to play them in big stadiums, you know, not 3,000 people. You've got to play 200,000 people, you know, in two shows or things like that. We left At England and moved to France in 1981. We were stony broke. Really? In 19, sorry, 1971. Well, what is After that? After nine years. And that is because of the system and how different it was. It or no, was it because, because of you blew the managers it and the? No, we didn't blow it. We didn't have it. Because of managers and people, clever people that stitched us up. You know. so, 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 so now you know sort of the pitfalls of it. Would you never think of managing a band? Well, we never had a manager after that. 
we managed it's... ourselves for the rest of our career, and, and we still do. Reap the benefits a lot more. Yeah, because then control. it's down to you. If you mess up, then you mess up. It's your fault, not other people's. So, um, and then we started to make money because we started to correct things. The same happened to everybody in the beginning. Elvis and all of them, they all got ripped off. Everyone and it gets still happens off. in like 80, well, 89 with Ross and that still. It, it, but it does with all those, yeah, because they're kids that are not experienced in the business. They're going to get ripped off terribly. And, and the people that make all the money and live in the big country houses are the managers, the agents, the publishers and all those. Yeah. Maybe not, you should set up a consultancy service for upper coming back. I've got, I've got quite enough on my plate at the moment. <laughs> it sounds like it. Talking of which, I haven't got anything on my plate. So, um, you know, obviously I'm looking well, forward Well, what do you like? Do you like? Are you a health freak? Or do you eat meat or do you eat fish or do you eat, what do you eat? Because you are the man to ask, aren't you, really? Um, well, in so here I am, not I everywhere want, else. Something I'm not going to feel too <coughs> guilty about, but I love spinach. Well, they do a very good spinach salad. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want one? No. You, no? No, I don't like spinach that much. Look, you can have it on me, whatever it is. No, when I eat here, I eat the ribs, which are wonderful. They're really tender, fall off the bone. Or the chicken wings, great barbecue sauce on them. I have a guacamole dip. Oh, or mouse or, or, or um, uh, we have potato skins with all kinds of variations on them and um, all kinds of things like that. That's what I eat. I feel like I just suck it and go straight for the dessert. <laughs> the desserts are wonderful. Yeah. Have pecan pie with ice cream. It's and uh, the Bill Wyman special is uh, highly recommended. Thanks very much. So Bill. they say. <laughs>